So today's the day we pack everything up, make a little transition, and boat life starts. You excited? Yes! That's not how it happened. Tell them properly. All right then. So yes, it's boat life, for a week anyway, um, which means for the very first time since November 2019, we're packing. Yeah, to leave our home. Mm. We've never done this before, we've had everything with us, every day, everywhere we've been. Yeah. How's it feel though? Weird. Nervous? A little bit. Yeah. I'm not nervous about the boat, I'm nervous about leaving the van. So we just arrived at Gate and Marina. This is where we're going to pick up the boat. As you can see, uh, Greg Virgo and Lou are with us as well. We're packing. And when I mean we're packing, I mean I'm packing. This is what the back of the thingy looks like. We've got enough snacks. That's okay there. Wash bags are ready. I need a shower before we go. All the things. This is washing up. Oh, and Cooper's little bag. And then once everything's packed, I need to clean. Because um, no one likes coming back to their house when it's... Uh, if it needs cleaning after they've been on holiday, do they? But did you notice something that was missing? John, yes, you got it in one. You know what he's decided to do? I'm like, but you need to pack your t-shirts, babe, or you need to pack this, that, and the other. And he's like, I'm just going filming down there a bit, and uh, I won't be a minute, I just want to try this out and see and see if it works okay. So yeah, so I'm packing, I'm waiting for my shower, Coop's waiting outside, got washing up to do, got to sort out the food, and John's disappeared. Honestly, you literally can't make this stuff up. That blimmin' man. Apparently we've got to do a bit of a training session first and a run through of stuff, so that should be interesting. So what do these boats actually look like? A bit of control on the outside there. Under there's the engine. Quite spacious, head height wise. Yeah, I'm touching either side, so it's not that wide. It's a narrow boat after all. Extra seats there, a bit of storage underneath, coats and storage there. And as we move into the kitchen, full size fridge, a microwave, we do have gas on board as well. Skylight over the kitchen and an extractor as well. And moving further down, we're into the toilet, which is quite a big toilet and a fairly decent sized shower. A little access hatch there and some ladders. And um, this is bedroom number one. So that bed actually slides out that way at night time so you get more space. Then through again, there are two bathrooms with two showers. So each bedroom has its own ensuite effectively. There's a little bit of storage in there as well. That's good as well, so you can have a little door that gives some privacy to the bedrooms as well. Um, and then these singles pop out that way and that way. So first thing in the morning, enjoy the view. During the colder months, obviously it's got central heating. Hey, can I go? Hello. Hey, Jono. Hey. <laughs> it's a nice boat, eh? <laughs> it's not a bad boat, eh? It's not bad, it's just not in Spain. <laughs> Why are we speaking like this? So a little bit more about the boat. Uh, it's about 60 feet long six ish feet wide inside plenty enough space looks like there's enough storage and things like that um, we've got just over a thousand liters of water on board which is like in van life that's amazing isn't it um, as we're traveling the engine which you can slightly hear now will provide us with all the heating propulsion and power through uh, an onboard inverter um, and then pretty much onboard batteries which are charged while you're driving as well will provide the power at night time. And now the brilliant people at ABC Boat Hire down at Gate Marina gave us an overview of boat locks, how to operate the locks, more importantly how to operate them safely. They went through boat controls, so what we do first thing in the morning or last thing at night, including some maintenance tasks. Just little things about getting used to the boat I guess. Um, and finally we went through some manoeuvres on the boat as well, so steering the boat, 
and also turning it around actually um, in a winding hole so um, yeah overall a lot of time was spent with us and we appreciated every second of it just to go through everything that would help us out over the next seven days once the training was over it was time to start loading our gear in porting everything from one home to a temporary home proved to be quite the task of four people trying to get around each other on a little narrowboat just like to say a huge thanks as well to uh, david from cruising the cut which is a youtube channel all about narrowboats who joined us and helped us organize this trip <laughs> I was going to get seasick because every time a canal boat came past I just got this raging headache it went away um, after a minute or so but um, I really thought it was going to bother me so it seems that forward momentum isn't too bad I do have like a little bit of a dull headache going on but hopefully that's the most I'm going to get but yeah how very cool eh? Hey? look at it what do you reckon buddy you reckon you're on a boat? You're on a boat? You're on a boat? You go that way, you go see. You go see. No, you come in this way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the locks like that for a long time, have you, John? You said if I come up there, you'd throw me off the boat. You'll make you walk the plank with that. <laughs> <laughs> John's already in pirate mode. Oh, look. Give me the voice over now. With his dreads. Oh, looks beautiful, babe. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even into it for the first hour, are we? <laughs> oh, one has so it's getting to our first locks now. So we've uh, used the uh, centre line to moor us while the people that are coming down are basically emptying the lock out. They're going to come out. We'll go in. We need to operate the locks again, fill it up from the other side. Up the boat goes and through we go. Sounds easy, doesn't it? How easy that flows off the tongue and yet. <laughs> We did tell you in the briefing yesterday they told us about someone that died and then the boat flooded going in there and yeah submerged itself and stuff. <laughs> oh dear me. So what are we doing? We are windlassing. Wind Is that lassing. what we call it? <laughs> yes. That's what we're calling it anyway. Well we figured it's a girl's job because yeah. it's called a windlass, not a windlass. Yeah, exactly. So, so first locks of the trip. And of the day, so yes. we're going to see how we get on. Aye, it should be good fun, because look. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Water rushing out of this part of the canal down to the other bit. Well, these guys control the lock gates now so that we can drive the boat forward. Well, you've got to run off over that other side quickly. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So 
one of the wonders that is canal boat life is that you just rock up apparently on the canal towpath side so you get these signs up and down the canal network that tell you what you can do about stopping mooring obviously is our version of a park up so that is uh, two days free after that it's 25 pound for each day and a maximum of 14 days in total and then for that time of year it's free for 14 days and on the other side that hasn't got the car towpath is usually private moorings that people pay for i think someone's figured out that in his life jacket it's like getting a big hug because it's that's a chill dog if you ever seen one, isn't it? It is, definitely. Definitely better. A better body. So, yeah. And, uh, ah! oh, oh, freeze. And, uh, I'll quite happily sit here for the rest of the time. This is the life. It is, isn't it? The life. The Chilled life. life. And then the well boys done, are doing boys. all the work at the back. Yeah, so exactly. Yes. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as long to get used to the boat I don't think. No. They, think, did, uh, they did say we were both naturals of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the locks didn't really uh, right, no. present any issues. Uneventful. Fairly straightforward, take it easy. It's a bit slow though isn't it? Yeah it's a bit slow. Watch out babies! Oh my god move! No! Look how brave my moopy is! Sat on the bow of the water coming past us and you're a good boy! And he's not shaking, he's just like sniffing away! Oh, you're such a good boy! Oh he's been so good! No breakfast eating this morning though, just a couple of bites but he had his tea which is a bonus. So uh, we're going to get to go to uh, Crick I think today. Oh, the pub. Go to the pub later. You like the pub? I like the pub. Go to the pub in a bit. You can't get off though, okay? Go to the pub. Yeah. Good boy. Man, quick, grab him, Mandy. Grab him now. So what's just happened now was uh, we were coming up to more. So the front end was just on the end there. Mandy jumped in, or they jumped across to the path, and, and this little me. knobber followed, but fell straight in. He's absolutely soaked. Fortunately, his tail's kind of going a little bit, but he's going. You're all right. Yeah. But thankfully, we're this, all right. This it... worked at getting him. Yeah, you you just latched onto him straight away, I then didn't him you? Straight out, yeah. So <sighs> your banana. Cooper. It's no wonder you're shivering, mate. You must you, be freezing. Do you know what's really funny it's a though? Knobber. We had to tell him before not to get off because it's like, mate, we're going the Coop. pub, and he went pub. <laughs> <laughs> you no, little we don't pleb. do that for the pub. You're going oh. to the pub. At least he's not going to be warm now, is he? Look at him. Trials. He's like, yeah, I've been for a swim. No, he's like, we're going to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're going to the pub. You crazy yeah. dog. <laughs> you all right, buddy? Oops, he's hello. <laughs> 20 minute uh, little walk now into Crick. Yes. And it's that warm that Coop's Almost pretty good. much dried off already now. <laughs> <laughs> After his little bath in the dirtiest water ever let's yeah. hope he didn't drink it because we were told if you drink it you're gonna end up with uh Hoobies. yeah nasty so i'll see how we get on but hopefully find a little pub relax a little get over Co the excitement of the day a <laughs> couple of shandies Great. Lovely, thank you. Mm. Far better than this. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah but it's fine because of this and this
brick tunnel. We are. I'm taking my torch shining um, duties. responsibilities very seriously, as you can very, tell. Very dark otherwise. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, so you can see literally the light at the end of the tunnel. Yay! Yay! We just had our first tunnel. Which was really good. A long one. A very, very long one. How long did it take for us to get through there? Oh, about just over a quarter of an hour. Just over a quarter of an yeah. hour. And then on the other side, there was Crick Marina, so we stopped and got some water. And I got to tie the bow line. You did. And I got to untie the bow line. And look what I did. Look. Yeah. Nice and neat. Ooh. Eat your heart out, Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's rolling, so we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Could that grin be any bigger? Yeah. <laughs> we had such a good time at the pub and we'd had such a good time along the way that we'd not really understood that the itinerary that was given to us with the boat was quite sort of time specific. In fact, they wanted us to go at it all day without much of a stop. So by the time that we got to Watford Locks, the locks were closed. And the lock master said um, there's some sort of reduced hours due to reduced water supply and works going on the locks. So uh, we just decided to spend the night there. And what a perfect location to do a bit of spot of work from as well. So yeah, time to get some work done, enjoy the scenery. And um, as you can see in the background there, Mandy's having a little nap and giving Cooper some cuddles as well. Fishies. So what do you think of day one? Day two. Oh yeah, day two. Yesterday was like a practice run though, right? it was only like two hours or something. So we're currently sat at the bottom of um, our bottom lock one, to be precise, of Watford Locks. Yes, Watford like Watford Junction, which if we walk down there for about 10 minutes, we would actually get into um, Watford Junction services on the M1. Watford Gap services. Ideally, we'd have been going on for about another two or three hours, yeah. Yes, but the locks are closed. Yeah, so, so we can't. But um, but yeah, actually enjoy the jaunt a little bit, and then on the on the um, start of the day, we have to turn round. Friday. Just, Friday. Yeah. yeah, we just figure out where the next uh, winding hole is. Yeah. And turn and come back. So we'll play it by ear. Pretty much it. Yeah. Cut me with all my terminology. Mm. Winding hole. And what did you say it is when you um, wrap the? Um, the ropes up. When you do it, it's, a, it's cheese roping. Cheese roping. And if you watch other people go up and down locks, canal locks, what's that called? Oh, I've forgotten. A gib gobbler or something like that, isn't it? <laughs> gib goggling. <laughs> so, Bless you. Yeah, that's brilliant. I've yeah. got to get all the terminology right. I have no idea until, um, until David was showing us today. I had no idea uh, how to operate a lock, but I've looked up all of the terminology. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Right, so we've got to be very careful because there are little frogs everywhere. Oh, there's one. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look. You see? So in the tight galley spaces, we're still managing to get Fake McDonald's breakfast. Fake McDonald's breakfast to get us ready for doing seven locks. <laughs> so would you say there's enough room? Yeah. Kitchen wise? Just about. Just about. Yeah. Could probably do with a bit more sideboard space, yeah. but I think that's just because, I mean, I couldn't use this anyway, to be honest, but the, there's no glass lid. Party <laughs> breakfast. Well, we wait for the, um, the harbour master and Elisa then. <laughs> that's me, guys, because I keep saying it, isn't it? <laughs> Waiting for the lock keeper. The lock keeper, the gatekeeper. What the was the other one? Key master. Key master, key gatekeeper. So one thing we have brought that we're all finding invaluable is the Power Oak AC50. The boat spec was supposed to be like one, two, one or two 12 volt sockets. We thought we might need more. Actually, there are no 12 volt sockets. We've got some USB sockets. 
other than that it's all mains powered stuff so while the engine's running obviously you get a bit of power we're charging that up through mains power and the rest of the day charging all our tech off it and also we brought the compressor fridge so that thing is running everything we're charging all cameras phones and everything and the fridge and it's got loads of power left and we've been parked up now for well over 12 hours so it's pretty cool really winner winner for power oak it's bloody good actually isn't it yeah we've literally been charging everything and the fridge has been running all the time and that thing's been killing it i don't think it'd have been quite as simple without it no one thing to note we about canal boats is that the sink the shower and hand basins and kitchen sink and everything is pumped directly out into the canal so only toilet uh, waste is collected in a black tank everything else the gray waste goes straight out into the canal so we're just getting ready to set off engine started quick blast of the bilge pump nothing's there we have been greasing the shaft so that's nice and tight oh yeah because obviously you need to grease your shaft to make sure it's nice and lubricated so a little earlier than we anticipated, it's 9.30 and we're at the bottom of the Watford locks now. So lock one, bottom lock. And uh, the first boat that was in front of us has just gone up. I can just see it just going out the top of the lock now. So uh, we're going to have to wait for everyone to close the gates on that one. Drain down, we come in, go up. Birds joined us. Oh, oh, going on that side now. Oh, no, it's gone. See you, little birdie. <laughs> I do love seeing this from when all the canal boats were pulled by horses and the ropes have just burnt the way into the metal work. I'm doing the red hot chilli peppers, look at me. I'm under the bridge. 
Well, not only did England not win, but today is our penultimate day. So, apart from the fact that it's peeing it down outside as well, that's why we're a bit glum. <laughs> what does everyone think? Good holiday? Yeah, Very it was good really holiday. good actually. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to do something completely different. And because we can't go abroad, obviously, like, yeah. this is a perfect solution, isn't it? But Amazing, yeah. brilliant. I'm, I have never had so much fun learning new things. And I think <laughs> everything's been a learning curve, hasn't it? But it's been brilliant because yeah. everybody we've met on the canal have been so helpful. Um, yeah, yeah, everyone's been really friendly, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. everybody I think that's the has said hello thing. to us on the canal path. And yeah, yeah. yeah, we've not had any rude comments or anything, have we? Despite even when, even when they see the rental boat, they think that maybe the, the full timers yeah. or the ones who had afraid yeah. just might be not quite as friendly. But if anything, they were a little bit more helpful. Yeah. So. Despite the few occasions where I may have forgotten to slow down going past boats, no one had a go. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of got given the impression that normal canal boaters don't like hirers but yeah. we never found that at all no yet. no so no friendly people really yeah. overall yep and, the, and on the last locks we came down there was some people that had literally just picked up their boat yeah. and i got a chance to impart some of my wisdom so they're going to be in all sorts of things wrong now <laughs> 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 no but they were a bit worried about it is their first lock and i was just saying you know we were there five days ago or yeah. whatever and, and it's a nice chance to pass on the simple things that i think of mm -hmm. of, of yeah. helping me on, on the locks and stuff so. and more importantly treat ladies found ducks as well yes i bought duck treats and they're following me around everywhere <laughs> they're literally and outside the window now. <laughs> oh yeah there's some over there too yeah. Yeah, i need to go back out and sort my ducks out get yeah. my ducks in a row because yeah, they do yeah. they line up for it and everything mm -hmm. the yeah. first couple of days were uh, a little bit stressful only because everything was new wasn't it yeah and obviously yeah. we didn't want to damage the boat or hit anybody and we were really Just getting used to concentrating it a lot yeah. on yeah. Just it did steer. take a lot of effort, didn't it? Keep yeah. it straight. <laughs> By the end of the day, we were shattered just because the because of that concentration. concentration. Yeah. Yeah. But then, as soon as we sort of got off of that schedule and the pressure of that schedule, and then uh, obviously we're comfortable with what we we're doing with the boat. The last few days just have relax. been really enjoyable. Yeah. Haven't yeah. And it's even like just pulling over mm. for water. You know, everyone's got their own little thing. Now we know yeah. we we'll shut coop in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That, that's the first thing. <laughs> get coop in the boat and then everyone's got the little things that they do and everybody's just literally stood waiting jump off the side of the boat we know which one which ways to moor how to get the boat whichever way yeah. we're doing it for stopping or getting water or yeah. well old machine well, yes at teamwork you see. <laughs> yeah. that's what it is i think the only thing really negative of the whole trip is coop has not really enjoyed being in the boat while it's moving around no, no. he's enjoyed being up front with you two yeah but anytime he's inside like the first couple of times we went through a lock he was petrified then yeah so up. that's yeah. it i mean yesterday i had to walk down was it 14 locks we did yeah, yeah. so it was yeah. just i had to yeah. just get out with him and, and walk so much happier and of course it, it, he gets his walking as well yeah. so he gets a lot of time outside yeah. so that's a bonus but i think it's noisy in the yeah. when the engine's running you can yeah. really hear it because he's the fine he's chilled out of sleep yeah then, exactly now. yeah because the engine it's not that diesel right. engine starts up he's like mm. yeah. yeah you can feel it right at the front you can yeah. still yeah. even when you, when you accelerate yeah. to go and especially when people beep the little horn yes <laughs> uncle greg <laughs> so it's all of us because there's no warning <laughs> because yes i do we do get the fact that you know it prevents us from dying and crashing yeah. into other boats i get yeah. that part and, and it's and so we, lou and i are taking it upon ourselves to just scream Expect at the top of our voice yeah. yeah. every bridge yeah. Yeah. No, no, every time every, every, bridge. every time we see a boat we just go boat <laughs> <laughs> so but we're an early warning system. Yeah, it works exactly. yeah, yeah, it does actually. Yeah, they should put that in the instructions because yeah. that yeah. give everyone. Well, a we're right at the front. front. We can see yeah. about a day like before a you. <laughs> a boat, boats versus a brinksman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Lou said, though, I mean, we're seventy four in front of you, so yeah. we've got a really good, yeah, yeah. That, uh, really good angle to see things for yeah. you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think with Coop, I think it's just. With it being steel hull, everything resonates. I mean, yeah. we were having a laugh the other night, weren't we? Because you were saying, what the hell's that noise? And it was just someone putting a cup yeah. on the oh, hook yeah. in the believe. kitchen. It sounded like someone was hitting the boat with a sledgehammer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Crazy. Just trying to tidy so, up. Yeah. yeah, we're washing the pots, I yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say definitely a successful holiday. Yeah, we've managed oh, to cook everything that we wanted we have. haven't we? We've, yeah. we've had more than enough stuff to go nice through. Nice having a proper bathroom. Oh, yeah. yeah, each Oh, the space well. inside, yeah. 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 So, and yeah, really good showers as well. If you're thinking of giving it a go like us, yeah, definitely go for yeah. it. We've had a great week, really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. it's been absolutely Excellent. brilliant. <laughs> so overall, really good. Thank you to ABC Boat Hire. Yes, thank yes. you very much. Yeah, thanks thank very you guys. much, guys, for Every giving us this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, that's been absolutely brilliant. Thank from, you. Yeah, from guiding us through operation of the boat and uh, handover and everything, absolutely brilliant. Boat was delivered, everything we needed. 
cutlery plates and all that kind of oh, stuff. Yeah. yeah, there was literally yep. every single it, it more, yeah. more than we needed. Yeah. Really well provided yeah. for, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's been really good. Yeah. So all the information is going to be down below. ABC boat hire. I've got pretty much marinas around everywhere much. from Manchester to down sort yeah. of yeah. Yeah. North yeah. Of broads all and everything over the, yeah. over the country. Yeah. So yeah, all the information down below. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Land legs. I keep wobbling all over the place. I'm very wobbly still. <laughs> and it wasn't just us anyway. Lou was doing it going around the uh, the shop. Oh, right. So it seems just normal then. Yep. <laughs> so as you probably guess, we're back in the van. Back in the van. Well, I think that's about us for this week. Of our ah. little uh, adventure on the water. Yes, it's been an absolutely amazing week. Yeah, we've had a great week. Really, really good. Uh, a couple of things to say. First of all, I want to thank ABC Boat Hire oh, again. yes. For obviously we arranged it all through them um, so we uh, got the boat from them they've done all the training with us helping guidance and all that kind of stuff so they were brilliant yep and they could not have been any more helpful with everything absolutely brilliant yeah and obviously uh, go and watch David's videos cruising the cut to find out more if you like boat life yep and thanks to David as well because he helped us feel so much more confident and better yeah. when he came along with us for a little bit so uh, yeah thank you very much David Thank you. And obviously, go and watch Greg and Lou's videos as well, because obviously, I think in a, probably around about this time that you're watching this video, uh, they should have their video out as well. Yes. So you'll see. So you'll see three different, different versions of uh, what went on on the water. Yes. Right, we know. Mm. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. See you later. Bye. bye.